Prince Harry's account of using the same cream that Princess Diana applied to her lips on his own frostbitten penis has been described as a Freudian nightmare. The Duke of Sussex suffered frostbite on his crown jewels in the run-up to and during Prince William and Kate Middleton's 2011 wedding, after he hiked through the North Pole. Harry described how a friend recommended he try a particular cream that, by coincidence, had been favored by Princess Diana to the point that its smell evoked her memory. Harry wrote, My penis was oscillating between extremely sensitive and borderline traumatized. The last place I wanted to be was Frostnipistan. I'd been trying some home remedies, including one recommended by a friend. Shed urged me to apply Elizabeth Arden cream. My mom used that on her lips. You want me to put that on my todger? It works, Harry. Trust me. I found a tube, and the minute I opened it, the smell transported me through time. I felt as if my mother was right there in the room. Then I took a smidge and applied it. Down there. Weird doesn't really do the feeling justice. Dominic Wakeford, a London-based book editor, posted on Twitter, this book is a Freudian nightmare. He added, as disturbing as this is, I was personally more unnerved by his pronunciation of Battersea as Battersea, let's stop listening to posh men in 2023. Replying to a comment, Wakeford wrote, to anyone suggesting this is fake, I wish I had the imagination to come up with something this good. While some parodies of Harry's narration are floating around the internet, Newsweek has a copy of the book, and the passage cited is there. Princess Diana is unsurprisingly mentioned many times in Harry's book and he at one stage describes bringing Meghan to see her grave for the first time in 2022. The passage in Spare reads, At long last, I was bringing the girl of my dreams home to meet Mum. We hesitated, hugging, and then I went first. I placed flowers on the grave. Meg gave me a moment, and I spoke to my mother in my head, told her I missed her, asked her for guidance and clarity. Feeling that Meg might also want a moment, I went around the hedge, scanned the pond. When I came back, Meg was kneeling, eyes shut, palms against the stone. I asked, as we walked back to the boat, what Shed prayed for. Clarity, she said. And guidance. Jack Royston is Newsweek's chief royal correspondent based in London. You can find him on Twitter at, at Jack underscore Royston and read his stories on Newsweek's The Royals Facebook page. Do you have a question about King Charles III, William and Kate, Meghan and Harry or their family that you would like our experienced royal correspondents to answer? Email royals at Newsweek. Calm. We'd love to hear from you.